In September of this year, Curiosity arrived at the rocks that form the base of Mount Sharp itself. What we found waiting for us was a new type of rock, one that forms when tiny particles of sediment slowly settle out within a lake, forming mud at the lake bottom. These mudstones are very finely layered, suggesting that the river and lake system was going through cycles of change. Our hypothesis is this, where now there is a mountain, there once was a lake. Over a span of perhaps millions of years, water flowed from the northern rim of Gale Crater towards the center, bringing sediment that slowly formed the lower layers of Mount Sharp. At any one time, the lake may only have been a few meters deep, just enough to form those sandstone deltas and thin layers of mud. But fluctuations in the water supply or the climate allowed this to happen over and over, slowly building up the mountain. The rover has been investigating the Yellowknife Bay area as part of an effort to pick the exact location of our first drill activity on Mars. The images being returned by Curiosity show a diverse collection of interesting features, including sedimentary rocks, pebbles, cracks, nodules, and veins. The vein features are seen as a bright white material, and we see them just about everywhere we look in Yellowknife Bay. The ChemCam instrument has found that these veins contain elevated levels of calcium sulfate, likely in the form of bassanite or gypsum. Gypsum veins are also seen here on Earth and are associated with water percolating through cracks in fractured rocks. The exciting news from all of this analysis is a candidate site where Curiosity will conduct its first drilling activity. This site is located only a few meters away from the rover's current location and lies in a flat area suitable for drilling. The team hopes to drill directly into one of the veins and place the powder into the SAM and Kemen analytical instruments. These instruments will give us detailed information about the composition of the material. We'll be driving over there in the next few days. So what we think we might be seeing here on Mars is an ancient riverbed with the pebble beds representing old stream deposits. The size of the pebbles tells us that these rocks could not have been transported by the wind, so it seems clear they must have been transported by water. So how did this pebble deposit get to be here? If we look more broadly in Gale Crater, we can see that there is a prominent feature that geologists call an alluvial fan. Alluvial fans are cone-shaped deposits of gravel and sand that accumulate where streams exit mountains. In Gale Crater, there is a 10-kilometer long fan formed at the mouth of a 30-meter deep canyon that is derived from the crater rim. On the fan itself, we can see evidence for multiple channels suggesting that the stream bed direction changed through time. When we look at the location of the Curiosity landing site with respect to the alluvial fan, we see that the rover landed downstream of the fan. The rounded pebbles likely represent long-distance transport down the alluvial fan. So this is really exciting news for the science team because it's the first time we are seeing gravel transported by water on the surface of Mars. This has been